Uh, Margaret McCoyick Johnston. My Chinese name is not long, it's short. Uh, Jiang Mei Hui, which is Jiang for river, Mei for beautiful, and Hui for wisdom. Back in 1978 and 79, when China was just starting to open up to the West, previously it had been quite a, a closed economy, a closed country. Um, a lot was being said in the press, in the media, about China and all the changes there. And my husband and I, we were both uh, working at the time. We had good professional jobs. The University of Toronto Alumni Association had a program where it would send people on tours. So we attached ourselves to the China group and about 15 of us went to China in the summer of 1979. And we, we really loved China, and, and we really loved using our Mandarin, even though we only knew a little bit. So when we got back to Canada, in the fall, we signed up for Mandarin courses at the University of Toronto. And then as my career in government progressed, I found that there were often uh, opportunities to meet with Chinese delegations, uh, because as the country opened up, they wanted to come to the West and learn about uh, Canada. And I also was invited to uh, co-chair in Beijing a conference of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Organization and that was on advanced technology. My career was primarily in science, technology and, and policies and programs and uh, so through the years I got a chance to also go to um, the uh, Three Gorges Dam as it was being opened up, as it was being built on behalf of Canadian companies that were involved in building the dam. I decided to retire early, and so now I'm working on China's science and technology at the University of Ottawa. I'm researching, I'm lecturing, I'm advising uh, governments. Students who are going to China these days have all kinds of opportunities open to them for the future. Sometimes they go for a year to learn Mandarin, but then they might go to take a uh, full university credit program in China um, and uh, or they might get a job at the Canadian Embassy in China or a job teaching English uh, to other people in China and experience like that is uh, almost always useful to jobs back here in Canada I know when I hire and I've I've hired a lot of people over my career um, I always look very positively at somebody who has taken the initiative to go to China, learn the language, uh, get some cultural experience there, maybe get a different kind of a job there or, or take an advanced uh, university degree there, and then come back and find ways of using it in their career uh, here in Canada. And actually, I remember when I was at Industry Canada in the late 90s, um, I was a director general at that time, and. Canada was going through an election and there was a minister of water resources who came from China uh, with a delegation and he wanted he was supposed to meet with the minister of industry but the minister was out in his election campaign so he couldn't meet so I met with him and because I spoke a little Mandarin he and, and he spoke zero English he and I got along really well and on my next trip to China he hosted a dinner for me and that was really uh, out of the ordinary because he was a minister and I was like four levels down, five levels down as a director general. The number of people who are studying abroad, over 300,000 in the United States right now, over 100,000 in Canada, uh, just Chinese students. Um, and, uh, and we need to increase the number going the other way so that Western students have a, a better understanding of, of China and, and, uh, and Chinese culture and Chinese government. Uh, because China, as it's growing uh, in the size of its economy and the importance of its government, will have a much bigger imp impact uh, over the coming decade than they have in the last three decades, I would, I would expect. So uh, I think everyone needs to learn more about China. And uh, the best way of doing that is going to China. But if you can't do that, taking courses about China, reading books about China, going to Chinese movies, 
Um, all of that helps. Chinese television.